right guys, here's some more views for you. Looking pretty splendid. And what we are doing is going to find the gymnasio, which is the gym, because I just randomly was going on Instagram, and someone posted there was a gym nearby, so I thought, why not? Because we've got like three, four hours to kill before we have to pick up our tickets for Machu Picchu tomorrow. As you can see, people, we in the ghetto. <laughs> now nah, we're just moving around. Pull up. Mad views, people, mad views. Peace, made it to the gym, and guess who's got on the wall? The big boy, them, Galaza. Right, people, we're gonna get a quick little session in and get it done. The gym is decent, as you can see. Uh, I've been doing everything but legs, we're gonna do that long ass trek tomorrow, so we're not really feeling to do a Machu Picchu like that. What is good, guys? Right now, I'm coming to you to do a voiceover for this workout. This is probably the first time I spoke to you about fitness stuff in a good almost a month now because obviously being traveling I didn't really do like a focus on training it was more just me enjoying life but it just so happens that I came across a really good gym and this is perfect because a lot of people kept asking me like did I train while I was away or did I miss training but in the gym right now we did like a really good session I did an upper body day and a little bit of legs and that was purely because we had Machu Picchu the next day so I, didn't, I knew we were going to be like doing a big mountain trek so it didn't make sense to do legs heavy but in terms of like bench and my overall performance performance in this workout. To be honest, my strength wasn't actually that much lower than I thought it would be because this was two weeks out of the gym. And so I thought, oh God, I'm gonna be barely be able to lift anything. But I was relatively the same, if not a little bit stronger in some lifts. But I think it was purely because the amount of calories I was consuming while I was on holiday was ridiculous. Like I was probably averaging 2,000 calories when I was in England. <laughs> but when I was away, I was probably having at least 2,500 every single day. And no, it wasn't super clean. I'm out in the living life. So I was eating like just high calorie foods because we're eating out a lot more. So in turn, I'm gonna have a lot more energy. So when it came to training, it didn't feel like it was that much of a struggle. Um, so I gotta say that was a really big bonus, a really big plus. But overall, in terms of like traveling, I didn't really think about like training. It's so, like gym is great, but so is traveling. My aim wasn't to go overly crazy and just like eat everything in sight. But when I was out there, I wasn't really like saying, oh, I'm not gonna eat that because it's calorie dense. I was just enjoying everything that I was going on in the, in the moment. So I didn't really wanna have a focus on that. So for any of you that go traveling, don't, unless you have a like, competition or something that's coming up, don't overly analyze everything you're doing. Enjoy the actual holiday. Eat something, eat differently. Like stuff that I ate out there was delicious. The crepes I had were delicious. to those of you that really are conscious about like how to like stay fairly in shape when you're traveling the best way is just to do as much as you can without making the holiday suffer so me doing my morning little workouts were fairly fine I'd wake up in the morning do like a nice little super set of push-ups ab exercises and like planks and stuff like that because it didn't take that long to do and it just allowed me to get a little burn then after that I'd have a shower and carry on with the rest of my day I didn't make any of this gym or fitness lifestyle impact the actual holiday itself because I don't want to regret not doing something because of fitness because that would be the wrong thing to do. I have missed it but while I was away traveling I was too busy enjoying life. But anyways I'll carry on with the rest of the vlog right now because there's a whole bunch of stuff um, and then I'm going to fly to the next spot which I'm going to tell you right now is... Alright people, gym session done. By the way, quick views from the gym. This is the views we had throughout the whole session, which was damn cool. Yeah, it was a nice session though. I did basically everything. A bit of a... Tomorrow we do Machu Picchu, so I didn't have to do legs crazy. Mike did chest and shoulders. And if you're ever in Cusco, feel free to hit up this gym. That's the gym name. It's pretty decent. All right, peace. we've made it back to the hotel. What I'm about to do is bang some cacao tea. It's meant to help with the elevation. Don't taste too bad. Now we're just going to go to the center. People, after a decent walk, we are in San Pedro in Cusco. Quanta uh, pesa manzana? Uno, un sol. Si, si. Ah, how much for cuatro? Cuatro. People, you want to know facts that Michael don't know animals. That he thought the llama was a dog. A big ass llama. My man thought it was a dog. What, what part of that a dog? Can't take him nowhere. Right now we're about to leave Cusco, We've got our last breakfast here. I'm gonna say goodbye to these views. Jeez. This is how breakfast is meant to be done. Suck it all in. Like we're sitting down casually eating oatmeal while overlooking this shit. Uh, about a couple hours time to catch a flight out to the next spot. You guys won't know what it is yet until you keep watching the video, so stay tuned. Alright peeps, now we're in the airport, uh, Cusco to fly to Lima and then fly from Lima to the next place. I'm probably just going to get back to you guys when we're actually in the next spot. 
rather than take you to every single airport because you've seen um, hella airports in the last like probably four or five videos. All right, peace. We've just touched down in Chile. I'm so shattered. I don't know what's going on because they've just detained, well, held Michael at the passport check in. I don't know why. I'm not sure why, so I need to wait for him to see what's going on. But yeah, anyway, Chile is where we're at. Boy. Chile, I don't get why they stopped you. Like, he was giving you questions. My yeah, guy's yeah. letting me through. No, no, this guy was Did saying. Did you fit like, him wrong? No, he was saying, like, oh, how much money have you got on you? I couldn't understand what he was saying at first. Yeah. And he was saying, like, That's it, then he said oh. dinner and he said money, and I said, ah. what about money? And he goes, did you sign it properly though, the piece of paper? I think. Yeah, of course I did. And he goes, money, money, money. And I'm like, what? I said, but he's West Bunyan, like, what are you saying? Yeah. And he said, like, money. I was like, I said, do I have money? He's like, yeah. I was like, yes. He goes, how much? And I was like, I gave him the figures. He's like, oh, okay. And they showed me, and he goes, how long you been chilling for? Then they were looking at each other, and then he goes, oh, have you got a credit card? I'm like, yeah, go show me your credit card. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? Mad. Mad, mad. Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. It's late, it's midnight. All right, peeps, we went shopping today. Ugh. Got some oil, some huevos, aka eggs. I got some frozen kind of veg, to kind of like stir fry. I've got wraps here, chicken breast, and some minced meat. I was getting sick of just having constant like takeaways and eating out all the time. Plus, this way is more cost effective. It's been like what? Two and a half weeks so far of like eating out and stuff like that. You're starting to get money heavy. So while we're in Chile, I feel like it's better to kind of cook foods while we've got an Airbnb. We've got the facilities, it makes sense to use it. All right, people, that is our hotel there. And we've came outside. That is some brown lakey shit. I don't even know what that is. But the views overall is great. And what we're doing today is we're gonna go to a gym. This is our third day, second day here. We've already walked through the town yesterday and it was pretty damn sick. Like it reminded us of home to be honest. It was just like, it was like any kind of English kind of town center but with like loads and loads of Latin people I guess. And there's a lot of Africans here too, which is uh, different because every other South American country we've been to, there hasn't been many black people been the only ones. So much view, I don't know if the camera can really even pick it up. Don't think it can. Hello. That's his real voice by the way. He's been faking it for years, that's his real English accent. One thing I will say though about Chile, like we've noticed, is there's a difference in the women so far. Like when we're in Peru and Cusco, like the women are like really, really tiny and like little, like little cute looking. Whereas in uh, Chile they look a lot different. Like they got <laughs> grande culo and they are really nice as well. Not that the Peru ones weren't. But yeah, it's just an observation from, you know, a blackie. All right, so what we're gonna do is probably just explore a little bit of Chile. People, this is their mall, the Vivo mall. Getting kind of late now, so I'm gonna back on my hoodie and see you guys when we get back. What is good, people, right now, what we're about to do is make a little bit of breakfast using the stuff that I copped yesterday. Got the vlog out for your entertainment. Uh, what I'm gonna have is make some, because I've got cheese and small puree, make pizza. Turn this bitch down. Turn down, 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 down. So I'm gonna make uh, some pizzas with whoever's. Probably have like about three, three or four. Yeah, I'll probably have four eggs, keeping you the same. So I'll show you guys when it's done. Take the brush off there. Over there. So that dirty plate will turn to a magnificent clean plate with food on it in three, yeah, three, two, one. Boom. That looks actually kind of banging, people. Shift TJ. Boom. And I'm about to devour that now. And by the way, Miguel, that is what the pizzas look like. Kind of looks better in England, but that is the gist. It's bread, cheese, and tomato puree. My mum was like, what base do you use? It's like bread. Like, all you need is some sort of doughy type surface to put your cheese on and your puree. Anyway, what we're gonna do now is try and plan out what we're gonna do for the next few days because we're here for like, in total, like eight days, and so far we've been here for like two or three, we haven't really done much. It's been kind of tiring since doing all the other stuff like the Machu Picchu trek and just traveling around in general. I've been feeling really shattered. 
but we're actually gonna like have to do stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and get back to you guys later. Peace. Oh, these for dinner.